So for Revolution, to get the raw sound without any EQ or anything, first I'm plugging into the drip version of the Red 47 that's dimed, and it's fed into the Chandler limited version of the Red 47. I'm using the rhythm pickup on the casino, and here's what it sounds like. <laughs> The reason why I play Revolution in the key of A is because I think the Beatles did. When they did their second version to make it faster, I think that they still didn't have it quite fast enough, so they just sped it up to get to the tempo that they wanted, and that's why it doesn't land on the standard pitch. It's somewhere between B flat and B. The Beatles themselves played it in the key of A when they did their promo after it was done. So to simulate that, I used the Wave Sound Shifter, which is a pitch shifter. And so here's what it sounds like with the pitch shifter on, and then I'll turn it off. With the pitch shifter on, I can bring it up to the pitch of the record, which is one semitone and 60 cents away from the key of A. So it's not a straight semitone up from A, and it's not a full step up from A either. Here are the plugins that I used on the guitar. In order to simulate two channels, I actually used two of the Waves Red 51 channels. It was actually set on the Red 37 using the Lee Guitar Vogue preset. And then after it went to the Waves J37 tape simulator, and then it went to the Waves Puig Child, which is a Fairchild 660 simulation. And that's the chain that the guitar went through and what you're hearing when you watch the video. And just for the record, I opted not to record the other guitar part that George Harrison did um, because I wanted to make it less confusing and just focus on the casino. This was an excerpt from my other video, 1965 Casino Plays the Beatles. And um, another thing you should consider um, when chasing this particular sound is adjusting the pole pieces on the casino. The B and E strings especially because to get that right balance um, I adjusted the pole pieces so the B string wouldn't stick out more in the sound or the E string and I got just the right balance. Look for Day Tripper coming up and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you later.